previously on. Where? Where is this bitch? Oh my fucking god. Oh my god, that's a mosquito. What the fuck? Look how long that thing is. Blech. Oh my god. Oh my god. I am so lucky I'm not living in this game because I would this would be my 13th reason why. All right, so I'm here and Diamond City is all the way. E e Damn. You mean to tell me? Damn. This is a long ass trip. Now back to Fallout 4, episode 5. Okay, so I installed a couple of mods to this game and I got a couple of nice premium weapons that I'm going to try out on these sons of bitches because I hate getting killed over and over again. Like, I'm just trying to do the story and I'm getting killed. So, round two of going into this zombie infested town. Yep, now we're in Lexington. And look at this bad boy. It's a laser rifle. So I'm going to try this out on these zombies and hopefully I won't have any issues going through this town. So wish me luck. Now where are these little zombie fuckers? Hello? Oh my god, dog me, please stop making too much noises. I'm still low-key scared. Oh, I see one by the window. Well, I'm not gonna bother him because it's by the window, so. Alright, um. Damn, this town is so messed up. Oh, <gasps> shit! Are you serious? Okay, so I got killed by a mine and I'm so mad because I got this nice gun. I was ready and I got killed by a bitch ass mime. Like, what the fuck? <sighs> you know what? How about this? Instead of going through the town, let me see if I can get through by the outskirts of the town cuz this place is booby trapped up to its asshole and you found an enemy where oh boy where oh my god i just want to get to diamond city that's all i want that's my goal for for today's episode, just to get to Diamond City. Please, Dog Meek, you come with me, please. Let me just go through here, I guess, right? Um, let me just chill. I just want to go to Diamond City. Is that too hard? Damn, it's getting hard. Okay. Anyways. Oh, there's a road. Okay, thank God. Alright. Okay, that was beautiful. Nice. Okay. I guess we didn't have to go through that city after all.
Mil listen to military frequency. Am I in the mood to do that though? Nah, I just want to get to Diamond City, to be honest. Okay, so... Yeah, this is a long-ass journey. I'm surprised that I'm even willing to do this long walk. Because usually when I walk for a long period of time, my hip starts to hurt. Not because I'm old. I'm, I'm not old. It's just... I think I pulled a muscle or something when I did a selector job. And... That could possibly it. That could possibly be it at this point, so... Hmm... Yeah, this place is really quiet. I feel like this is some silent, silent hill type of shit. I just want to know. Oh fuck! Woo! Oh fuck! Oh my god, dog meat! Oh shit! Hold on. Let me save myself first. Oh my god, I hate this. Stim pack. Okay, I'm good. Alright. Oh shit, I just noticed. So when I healed myself, I guess my competing gets healed too. Nice. Alright, so... Damn. Now I really gotta be paranoid on where I'm stepping on exactly. Alright. So, is that fireworks, or is that gunshots? We wait. We may never know at this point. Either way, it sounds like my hometown on 4th of July, and the day after. Yeah, that's gunshots. I'm leaving. Hey, yo. Okay, so, so far, what I like about Fallout 4, the scenery is amazing. I mean, look at this. The sky, the clouds, the sun. It's beautiful. And the details of it, too. Like, you can tell these leaves are so crunchy. I love it. And look at this. I mean... Never mind. I mean, if you're up close, yeah, you can tell the details are a little bit fuzzy. But far away, it does look like it's nicely done with the rest. Have I experienced any glitches so far? Mm, no, no glitches here. But then again, I feel like with Fallout compared to the Elder Scrolls, they do tend to take a lot more time on the Fallout series, which I wish they would have given the same energy to the Elder Scrolls. Because even though that the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim came out years ago, and it's been remastered, quote-unquote, multiple times, I still get glitches on that game, so it doesn't make sense to me. Okay, so we're in the city. What happened, baby? What happened? We're almost there, okay? No worries. Hey. How you doing, buddy? Hey, boy. You know any tricks? Oh, it's so cute! That is so cute. I love that. Okay. So, this is downtown, basically. And from what my map's saying, uh, Diamond City is that way. Don't fall, baby. Please don't fall. Like, my anxiety is through the roof right now. Alright, we're doing really good. Wow, this is... 
Oh my god. This is New Haven. The caca water? How it's green? Yeah, we're in New Haven. Okay. Just for pur purposes of not wanting to start over again, I'm a quick save. Because since I'm a low level, I'm getting killed so easily. So I'm not about to die and then have to walk all the way over here again because that's a pain in the ass. Damn. All right, so more fireworks. Yay! Looks like they're having a party. Yay. Oh my god, this dog is nosy. He would be the one to do that. Wait, what's that? Oh shit. Alright, so I see the diamond logo, and it says that it's this way, so... HOLY SHIT! THE FUCK! There you go. Yo! Fucking dogs the size of cars! Hey, yo! Oh shit. I forgot. Let me- let me eat something quickly. I totally forgot to feed myself. There we go. Um, sir? This is- Oh, shit. It looks like you need help, so... Come on. No? Can I not? Okay, whatever. You know what? Fuck it. I wanna help, too. But only this time? Let me get my laser! Okay, jerk. That's cool. Alright. Oh shit! This is nice! If you ever decide to get this game, I would definitely recommend the laser. That's for sure. Damn. Not afraid of mutants, huh? You're our kind of gal. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Alright, so let's go to Diamond City. Looking for Diamond City? Yeah. Follow the signs. Thank you. So yeah, this is a really great gun to yeah, mess with. Those one size fit all? Uh, yeah. You could say that. But yeah, this gun is definitely so badass. I just love it. The only drawback is you need to rely on fusion cores to power up this weapon. Yes, I can tell it's this way. Okay. But, yeah. Other than that, this weapon's fantastic, so I would definitely recommend this to be your go-to of defense. Hey! Almost a dangerous place. Lucky you had a great green jewel. Ah, oh, music to my ears. That's all I wanted. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <laughs> I'm sorry. But Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You won't send this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. Oh, shit. I know you're listening, Danny. Open the gate. <laughs> You want into Diamond City, right? Uh. What? Who are you? Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a traitor up from Quincy. 
You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Oh, Jeez, yo. All right. They make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the block. Okay, thank you. I mean, oh, looks like someone's there already. This place, Diamond City. What is it? Oh, the green jewel. She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, <laughs> got kicked out of here. Mm. The big wall, some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, love it or hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. Hmm. Alright, I'll follow her in. I don't know why they were kicking her out in the first place. Something about a news article. Let you back inside. I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for part. Mr. McDonough, tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Oh, snap. Why don't we ask the newcomer? Do you support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? Oh, I support freedom of the press. I always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Do I Welcome really? To the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money. Settle down. Hmm. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Um. What are you two arguing about anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy. But if you print the truth... <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying my baby. To find someone? Who? My baby boy, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Kidnapped, yeah. You hear that, McDonough? Is Diamond City Security just going to stand by while a mother searches for her infant son all on her own? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Um, okay. Who exactly? A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have time for any more questions. Fuck you, bitch! How the fuck are you gonna say that they're gonna help us? And you don't offer help. Can't spare one officer to help. Exactly. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates any I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Oh, shit. Mm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. Mm. Do you feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Okay. I'll see you then. Wow, so... That mayor is full of shit. He said that the city will help me, and yet when I asked for help, he's like, Ooh, I don't have time. Go my culo. Alright, let me go in and check out what this Diamond City is about. Whoa. This is Diamond City? In a baseball arena, basically? Wow. This is pretty interesting how they actually managed to fit a small little city in a baseball arena. Huh. <laughs> okay. Mayor McDonough, 
I'd love to talk, but I have matters to attend to. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Okay. Oh, that's her little sister. Huh. Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? <laughs> Piper? Wow, Piper. Hey, sweetie. Three papers, newcomers. If the institute grabs you in the night, at least we warn you. Wow, what the fuck? A free paper? Sounds like quality. I'm serious. The Institute takes people. You should read up if you're sticking around. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, maybe? No. Snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. What the fuck? It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. Okay, that's crazy. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seats, mom. Seems every year or so. Someone's gone. And we all know why. That's concerning. You better be careful, newcomers. The Institute is out there. And they'll grab you too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. I believe you. Thanks. You're a real lost lamb in the wolf den, lady. Okay. Uh, well, funny enough. I came here looking for someone. Let me guess. That someone's gone missing, right? Yeah. That's what I'm telling you. So who is it? Well, my I'm son. Looking for my baby. His name's Sean. You have a son, lady? Wow, you're old. <laughs> you're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute is involved. And no one's going to want to get the Institute's attention. You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this Institute? Well, there's the detective, Mr. McValentine. He's not afraid of anything. If anyone's going to help you, it's him. What else do you know about Mr. Valentine? I know all the adults who go there won't admit it. Ain't that the way it is? No one's ever grateful for the people who help out the most. Oh, bendito. Thanks. You were a big help. Remember, the Institute's out there, newcomer. Watch your back. Hmm. Looking back on when I was in the vault and seeing that mercenary with the other person in the lab coat, I'm starting to think that maybe that person could be from the Institute? Grabbing maybe? My baby? Who knows? But if there's a missing person that happens every year, and for some reason the mayor and the securities are not bothering to search or even investigate as to why that's happening, that's suspicious as fuck. So my theory is... He must be in on it too, either directly or indirectly. Hmm. Well, let's keep going because I definitely got to see this Nick Valentine character. Okay, where is Nick Valentine? Ah, okay. So he's right in here. Oh, hi, kiddo. Um, thank you. Huh. Uh, so why are you next to me? Hmm, the railroad. I gotta check out the railroad, too. What's with you asking stupid-ass questions? Anyways. Valentine Detective Agency. Alright.
Wish me luck. I told you your luck wouldn't last forever. Oh shit, I bumped into this fucking desk. Uh excuse me, ma'am. Something wrong? Another strain coming in from the rain. Fuck you, bitch. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. What do you mean? I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... has gone missing. Um, what? A detective gone mi Picture on milk carton time? If only it was that simple, right? <laughs> Nick disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this skinny Malone character? Yeah, is he a punk? About him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. What the f- Okay, so where's Good Neighbor? You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast of ways. People with power there care about two things. Style and body count. Damn. Wow, this is some crazy shit. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. What the fuck, bro? This detective has gone missing. No offense, dog me. I know you're a good companion and all, but... If I'm going to go and find this Valentine character, I'm going to need a second body with me. Because if this Skinny Malone character is a pain in the ass, and I'm traveling to another neighborhood that I don't know, I'm going to need some backup power. So the question is, who's going to be my backup par power? I'm sorry, boy. I mean, you're a good companion and all, but... I feel like that reporter chick from earlier would be a good companion for me, so... I'm going to talk to her. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies. I hope you stay safe, take care, and I'll see you on the next episode.